Hey YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is doing well. If you're new to my channel, my name is Alyssa Marie, a special welcome to you. So today I filmed this entire look, doing my hair, doing my makeup, and really just getting ready with you guys. I'll also be covering some exciting things that are just going on in my life right now. So before we jump straight into all of that, please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Just go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and also make sure you hit that little notification bell in case you wanna get an email every single time a new video drops. All right, let's get started. So I'm starting with 100% woke up like this vibes. Seriously, I have taken a shower and stuff, but my hair has not been touched all morning. Literally went to sleep with a bun last night, and so this is how we're looking today. I do still want to keep the bun vibes going, but of course I want to clean it up, make it look nice and sleek, but still like with a little bit of messy bun vibes. So I'm just going to start by taking out my hair. Oh gosh, this is a knot. Oh my word, oh my word. What is happening here? Wow, okay. Yep, so this is what, <laughs> this is what we're dealing with. My hair needs a wash, but today's not the day for that. I'm just not in the mood, so that's why we're sticking with a bun today. So first I'm just gonna start by grabbing my DIY spray. Y'all see me use this all the time. It's just a mixture of conditioner and water. The conditioner that I have in here right now is the Awa Puhi Conditioner by Maui Moisture. But don't worry, everything that I mentioned in this video is gonna be tagged below in the description box. So just gonna go ahead and refresh my hair because clearly it really needs it. So I'm just grabbing a leave-in conditioner. This is the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk 3-in-1 Conditioner. So you can use it as a leave-in, rinse out, co-wash. You can use it for so many different things, but I'm using it as a leave-in today. I just like it because it smells good, honestly. I like using more lightweight leave-in conditioners whenever I'm like refreshing my curls and just trying to put it up in a bun. I don't like to keep the products like very heavy. It really wouldn't be an actual get ready with me if Hershey was not barking in the background. So here we are. All right, and then I'm also gonna grab some mousse. This is by Alakay Naturals. This is their lemongrass styling mousse. And I'm just adding this to the front of my hair just for a little bit of hold right here. I'm trying to make this neat and cute, you know? So yeah, I know this is a get ready with me, but <sighs> am I getting ready to do anything special, go anywhere? Hell no. I'm still staying home and I hope you guys are too. All right, next I'm just grabbing this brush to just smooth all of those products in so we can have like a nice and neat base for this messy bun. I don't know, it's just something about buns that made me feel super put together. And then we're about to do a cute little makeup look that's gonna be like pretty simple, but something that's really trending. And I really have just been loving all the looks, but I'm gonna do it in a very simple and easy way. Y'all know me, I like to keep everything simple, easy. <laughs> so um, I'm excited to get into that too. And I feel like once my hair and my makeup is all done, it's just gonna, I don't know, it's just gonna give me life today. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my hair. I like my buns to kind of be like more towards the top of my head. Okay, and so my messy buns are like super simple, super easy. Again, I love everything that is super simple and easy. So I'm just taking this stretchy. This is like a super stretchy scrunchie. Like it stretches with like such ease. Um, so I'm just grabbing that. And then on the second loop is when we catch everything up into a bun. So I'm just gonna loop it like this, but not pull everything all the way through. Boom, like so super easy. And then once the bun is kind of all together, this is when I kind of just pick at it, play with it. So this crazy hair, I'll literally just take it, wrap it around the base. And I'm basically just like finagling with this bun until it looks like the way I want it to. All right, I'm sorry, we're gonna have to start this over. Mm -mm. We're gonna have to do that one over because whew, cute messy buns are sneaky little things. And you wanna know why? It's because they only come out good when you're not actually trying. They are so sneaky. All right, take two fam. Yes, much better. So now I'm grabbing my curl maker by Camille Rose. I still have a little bit of flyaways kind of sticking out here, so this is just gonna lay all the rest of that down. And we slick. Yep, 
You know what, this is not my best messy bun, but it's not like horrible. I feel like it's kind of passable. It's a little lopsided, but it's supposed to be messy and effortless looking, you know what I mean? So next, I just wanna do a little bit of some sum with my edges. So I'm just grabbing my curl maker again, and I'm just gonna do my edges in the normal way. I like to wet them up a little bit first, and then go in with the curl maker. So, you guys would have seen on Instagram that I announced, I'm actually filming this today, which is the day that I announced the Sephora squad. By the time you see this, a few days would have already passed, but yeah, I just announced that I officially made the 2020 Sephora squad, and honestly, I am over the moon. I posted a video on Instagram of me reacting to the news. Like, it's crazy because I was actually, like I had my camera set up and everything because I was filming content. I had just finished setting up my little camera by the window to get some natural light. And then I saw the email and I like dropped to the floor and just started crying because I was like, oh my gosh. Like this is honestly a dream come true, you guys. Like honestly, I like Sephora of all places, what? So then I was like, you know what? It'd be cool to just go ahead and show my little reaction and try and be a little bit transparent with you guys. And yeah, I posted that video of me being like super emotional, reading the rest of the email because I honestly only saw like the subject of the email and like the first line where they're like, oh, we're so excited to let you know that you've been chosen. And I was just like, that's all I could get to because I was like, what? So it was like a whole thing. Um, if you guys haven't seen it, go check it out on Instagram. There's lots of ugly crying, so you can go ahead and laugh at me. <laughs> Honestly, I was so nervous to post it. Um, they told us actually well in advance of actually posting the news, so it was kind of a while that I knew, but I wasn't able to tell anybody, and that was like probably one of the hardest things ever because like having that kind of news, it's like a huge, huge career moment for me and not being able to share it with you guys was really hard. It is such an honor to be able to work with such a successful international brand, but also a place that I absolutely love that I'm obsessed with. I really also have to say thank you so much to you guys for being so supportive. I did come on here in one of my videos and ask you guys to submit testimonials on my behalf. And so many of you just supported me and submitted testimonials. You took time out of your busy day to do that for me and like say kind things. Like it was just like your support honestly just means so so much so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart i'm so excited to take you guys along this journey with me it's about to be lit all right so let's go ahead and move in to prepping my skin so i'm grabbing the good molecules silicone free priming moisturizer i already do have moisturizer on but i just love using this as like a first step so for makeup i actually want to try out that box eye look that's been trending on instagram lately it's so cute and there's so many variations of it. Like you can go really crazy with it, really complicated, get super creative, or you can actually just make it super simple. And all of them, I just think all of them look so cute, but really the fox eye trend is just kind of focusing all your eyeshadow on this side of your eye to kind of give it like this elongated effect here. And it kind of just lifts your eye upwards like this. I don't know, it's just, a vibe like I love it I love how it looks so I definitely want to try that today of course I'm gonna be keeping it super simple because y'all know I'm not a makeup artist but we finna try this fox eye trend and I'm gonna show y'all how you can do it in an easy way all right so I'm actually gonna start by doing my brows first today whenever I'm doing like a super like snatched eye I like to do my eyebrows and then my eyeshadow first and then put on foundation on top so that's what we're gonna do today. I'm using the Ultra Precise Brow Pencil by e.l.f. and this is in the shade Brunette. So I don't know if I've actually come on here and explained like exactly what the Sephora Squad is, but it's basically Sephora's like influencer program. So they do a brand new group of influencers every year and so I have been chosen for the 2020 Sephora squad. And so basically I get to work with Sephora and all of the brands, well not all of the brands, but like I get opportunities to work with a lot of the brands that are within Sephora. So that includes hair, makeup and skincare which is everything that I'm all about. So I am ridiculously excited for that as well. 
sorry i just need to stop talking for two seconds so i can make sure these brows get all the way right all right so i'm just grabbing the elf hydrating camel concealer in the shade medium beige to kind of clean up my brows but yes i am beyond excited i can't even tell you how excited i am to get this party started i'm also expecting to be able to do a little bit more giveaways now because i think like i'm just kind of speculating here but I, i'm expecting i think to get some more pr packages from lots of the other brands within sephora like i won't necessarily get collaborations with all of them but i think a lot of them will at least want to send us their products so that's good news for you guys i've always said that i like to pay it forward to you guys so i'm hoping that I will get such an influx of products that I'll be able to like kind of group them together and do more giveaways on here and on Instagram as well. Like honestly, this is like a win for us all. Like I said, you guys have been so supportive and I honestly wouldn't be able to do this kind of stuff and I wouldn't be able to be creating the life that I've always dreamed of without you and all of your support. So like, I want to share this success with you guys in as much ways as I can. I also feel so proud because I come from the little old Cayman Islands. I mean, nothing little about us because I love the Cayman Islands. And if you've ever been, like, you've seen, like, just how amazing our country is. But just to come from such a small island to come here and, like, to achieve stuff like that, I feel like I'm also doing my country proud, which makes me feel so so happy. Ooh, it is hard to talk while I'm trying to clean my brows. So if you guys have any additional questions for me on Sephora Squad, you can go ahead and comment them below. I will try and answer them as much as I possibly can. It, I just got accepted and I'm just getting into this for the first time ever, so I won't have answers to everything, but you can go ahead and comment them below and we can have a little chat. All right, moving right along to my eyes. So whenever I'm doing my eyes before I put on my foundation, I always like to use lots of concealer. So once the foundation is on, everything kind of just looks seamless and beautiful. So I'm gonna go in with some more of my e.l.f. concealer. I'm using the same exact shade and I'm just going to blend it into my lids. So this is just creating a nice smooth base for us to work with for our eyeshadow. Then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of setting powder to just seal that in. Okay, we've got a perfect little canvas to work with. So something that has changed my entire eye makeup game, like I said, I am not a professional, so I am not the best when it comes to eyeshadow, but something that has made a real difference are these Line and Define Eye Tapes by e.l.f. So good, they make it so easy, and I'm about to show you exactly how I use them right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead, peel one of these off. So it's just like a little sticker, but it's like not overly sticky. It's very easy to take it off, remove it, put it back on, like it's, it's like so good and I basically just cut mine in half and then you just apply it to your eye here so when you're doing eyeshadow everything stays in that line so it looks nice and sharp like this is the easiest way to get that sharp like wing effect if you don't know how to do winged liner just like me because I cannot for the life of me I just can't get it the whole wing liner thing people just be like zoop zoop done but <sighs> y'all don't want to see me do wing liner mm -mm. You just want to make sure that you're getting the right kind of angle because it's the fox eye. I'm kind of angling this right out like towards like the very end of my brow here because you want it to like be like, you know, snatched. Boom, done. Now our eyeshadow is going to be bomb. So the palette that I'm going to be using today is the Rust Palette by Melt Cosmetics. Y'all, this is the best brown, like rustic type of palette that I have ever owned. It is so good. The colors are so pigmented and so bomb and they work so well together. So first, let's just dig into rubbish. So I'm just taking this with a blending brush. And for this fox eye, basically we are just focusing on this outer edge of the eye. That is it. And next, I wanna take it one step deeper with rust. 
So I'm taking a slightly more dense eyeshadow brush to kind of pack this in with a little bit more control. Again, just swooping over that outer edge of the eye, same kind of thing that we just did with the previous shade. Then it's just gonna go back in with the previous shade just to blend those outer edges out a little bit. Okay, and I think I am just gonna take it one teensy step deeper, but only like closer to this edge where the tape is. And I'm using an even more dense brush so I can have more control. So I'm just dipping into Mar. So basically what we're gonna end up with is like a smoky, eyeshadowy looking wing. This is it, I think that is all I'm really gonna do. So now is really the moment of truth, which always makes me a little nervous, but let's go ahead and pull off this tape. Oh, it's a vibe. Do you see that effect? Do you see it happening? My eye is being pulled. Like, this is a vibe. This is, this is cute. Whew, that felt like a lot of pressure. Like I wasn't even able to like chit chat with y'all. We were just focused on the eyes, but now we'll get back into the fun stuff. So now I'm just adding a little bit of glow to my skin with the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Primer. And then on top of that, I will be going in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Foundation. I just love how the two of these work together. Well, I do, if you guys don't know, have a long distance relationship going on right now. And y'all know that comes with its difficulties, but it definitely has a whole nother level of difficulty with all of this stuff going on in the world. And now I keep calling it stuff going on in the world because I've heard that YouTube is blocking those other words because that's, I think that's their attempt of trying to, you know, stop fake news and all that. So I'm just referring to it as stuff happening in the world. Basically the plan is for him to move here with me, but of course that always comes with its own challenges in terms of finding jobs and stuff. That's what we're working on right now. Um, I actually have a little clip of me <laughs> telling him the Sephora news. He's just so incredibly supportive and just so sweet and like, I don't know, he's the best. So I'll just insert a little clip here so y'all can hear. What? I made it to the Sephora squad, babe. You emailed me? I did, they just emailed me. Wow, that's major B, congrats. <laughs> it's major B. <laughs> Like, like a virtual celebration? Yeah, we do. We've known each other for a while now. And honestly, the only thing that's really holding us all together during all of this is FaceTime. We're literally on FaceTime 100% of the time. Like, he's on FaceTime with me right now. Um, <laughs> unmute yourself, say hi. Hey guys. <laughs> So literally like we're on video chat all the time and that's the only thing that's really saving us. If you're in a long distance relationship right now, like you know the struggle. And then also with like my move to Atlanta, I don't really have, I mean I am blessed with like a few friends here. My boyfriend and like my family, they're just, they're not here. So it's, it's difficult and then for all of this that's going on like just makes it all a little bit more difficult. But I will say like my saving grace is my relationship with God and then also FaceTime. Seriously, that's like the only things holding me together. And also coming on here and creating content with you guys just really uplifts me so much. Oh, by the way, this is the same e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. This is actually my new favorite concealer of life. I did use a lighter shade under here. So this is medium sand. So this is like one shade lighter than what we used on our eyelids. Yo, honestly though, my skin is so much lighter. I'm coming from the Cayman Islands where it's like hot. You step outside for two seconds and that sun is like a different level of sun. You get tanned in five minutes. So I think from moving here to Atlanta, the weather's a little bit differently and then also being forced to just be inside all the time. Like I've gone from 385 foundation shade in Fenty all the way down to 345. And I even feel like 345 is like a teensy's little bit like a little bit on the darker side for me now, but it's definitely something that I can work back into eventually. All right, this is coming together. We look really juicy, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes really quick. The setting powder that I'm obsessed with is the Cover FX Matte Setting Powder, but this is like one out of two powders that I'm about to use. 
All right, so I'm moving on. Okay, so I'm grabbing the second powder that I just mentioned. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Airbrush Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. So basically, this powder is kind of like a pressed translucent powder, which is how I like to think about it but it is like a micro powder. So the particles are a lot smaller and when it smooths over your skin, oh my gosh, it is just like, it gets rid of all like your pores, any fine lines, like it just smooths over everything and gives it like this beautiful finish. It just looks like a filter. I love it. This is like a major key for me. All right, next we gotta move in to some bronzer. I'm waiting on my Fenty cream bronzer to come. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna grab my regular Fenty powder bronzer and this is in the shade Caramel Cutie. Ooh, yes, how this just warms back up the skin. It's not really like a contour, it's just like dimension. Gotta get under here too, cause whew, your girl's been snacking. He cusses me about it all the time. You are a snack. I'm a meal. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right, what do you mean, oh yeah? Like you forgot that I'm a meal. A whole meal. Somebody tell him. All right. I'm really liking how this look is coming together. So I'm gonna jump back to the eyes and kind of finish it up. So I'm just grabbing that darkest shade that we used and running it down to my lower lash. And I'm just gonna keep it focused on the outer end, just like that. This is all about snatching the outside, that's it. You know what, I think I am gonna put on some lashes today. But for the fox look, again, we're trying to keep everything to the side, so I am gonna cut my lashes so that they're only like, like I'm gonna cut them in half. Okay, so here's the lash. I'm gonna cut it down to about like here. Boom, done, it's done, I did it. I cut the lash. All right, so here's the size of the lash. Yep, I am obsessing. This is my favorite look that I've ever done. The little scary thing about this look is that I think I need a little bit of liner. A little bit of liner at the base to bring everything, just marry it all together. Okay, so I'm just grabbing the Fenty Fly Liner Liquid Eyeliner Pencil. Oh, I'm a little nervous. I don't do eyeliner like this, but this needs to be done for this look. There was no talking while I was happening, but do you see a difference? It kind of just brings the lashes, the shadow, and everything all together. All right, we're almost done with this look. Now I'm gonna dig into some Fenty Cream Blush, and this is the shade Rose Latte. I love this. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so next I'm gonna add a little bit of highlighter. I've been loving the Grande Glow Plumping Liquid Highlighter. Like liquid highlighters are my thing at the moment. So I'm just gonna go in with this. Oh, I put a little bit too much. We got some highlighter, we got our eyes snatched, and the last thing we gotta do is get these lips. I'm just gonna go in with like a more nudish kind of brown with gloss on top. Of course, I've been obsessing with gloss. So I'm just grabbing my Bare Minerals Attitude Lip Liner. This is my favorite brown nude lip liner at the moment. Then I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Hot Chocolate Gloss Balm on top. Yay, I love it and I'm so glad like at how easy it was to create. Like it's even easier to put on lashes when they're only like this big, you know? It just stuck it on and they were there. Well, I had so much fun getting ready with you guys. It's time for me to hop off here and take some photos for Instagram. So thank you guys so much for watching. I had so much fun doing this with you again. Let me know if you guys are enjoying this get ready style with me kind of video. I really had fun with it. So if you all wanna see more, I'm happy to do more. And if you guys are gonna go ahead and try this look, try this fox eye trend make sure you tag me so I can see it I love to see y'all recreating my looks I really hope you did enjoy it I will catch you guys in the next one bye